She played the fiddle in an Irish band, but she fell in love with an Englishman. Kissed her on the neck and then I took her by the hands of baby, I just wanna dance. She played her fiddle in an Irish band, but she fell in love with an Englishman. Kissed her on the neck and then I took her by the hands of baby, I just wanna dance with my pretty little girl. Arrived in London. I don't want to. I don't want to slouch. I care about looking tall. I am tall. Got off the plane. Now we're at a pub. Hi, we're gonna eat fish and chips. Cheers. First drink in the morning. Now we're at the British Museum. I'm a big lover of history, and there's lots of Egyptian artifacts. Guys, we are at the British Museum and we're just so tired right now. We literally got off the flight and then we didn't even rest, so we just like walked to the British Museum. And this is really cool, we're in ancient Greece. Venturing through time from ancient Greeks to ancient Egypt. Now we're in the section with Chinese history, there's lots of Chinese artifacts as well. platform nine and three quarters and I just realized it's a picture taking place it's just so crowded outside of Buckingham Palace so we're at Buckingham Palace right now this has always been my childhood dream because I wanted to like work as a maid in the Buckingham Palace. I was so into the British royal family. So yeah, this is the palace. And we did not watch Changing of the Guards. Palace right now, and there's like so many people. It's so pretty. I would totally want to live inside there. Hi. Yay. Veronica, woo! Hi! We're in line waiting for ice creams in the park. Ooh. It's so nice, the weather. And my hair is fading, wow. London is the most beautiful city ever. Saw the Big Ben over there. We were like, is that the Big Ben or is that just some random tower? But it's like the Big Ben. That's going again. She did his ratchet as far. I don't want to hold that shit again. Knock, knock. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So now I'm in London doing a day in my life. Yeah. That is Big Bad over there. And this is the London Eye. Okay, and we saw this person's bag. <laughs> yeah, Cornell in town. Crazy. I know. To mom today's schedule, so we went to the Buckingham Palace in the morning, and then we went to the London Eye, the Big Bed, and then we're going to make potions. And afterwards, we're gonna eat with my friend at the English Girl near the Buckingham Palace again. And at night, we got a promoter. We were really hungry, so we walked into a random restaurant next to the Mayfair. Um, outside of the window. So we're at the Marriott. Oh, what the hell am I looking like? We're gonna drink. I got beef tartar.
just finished lunch. Now we're going to make potion making Harry Potter. So we're at the Harry Potter place to make potions, which are hot. I'm a big Harry Potter fan. Let's go Gryffindor. Say your magic word, Rose. Rose! Guardian of the Oh my god! <laughs> when Guardian Leviosa! This feels like my titration chemistry lab, which I did not pay much attention to. right now like I was like what kind of place are we in London and there's like this uh, moon over there this restaurant is next to the Buckingham Palace and you can see I was tipsy it was a Michelin restaurant we ordered steak the food was mid but the environment was stunning it's so funny like they gave us free desserts <laughs> she's from King's College one of my Friends from high school, uh, middle school. I'm dressed up, ready to go to party. We don't know if we can get in, but <laughs> hopefully, no, <laughs> best club in London. The interior design of this restaurant is so amazing. I'm a big fan of Greek mythology and this reminds me that I'm eating like a god. So we are at one of the good places. Food, 8 out of 10. Environment, 20 out of 10. And this is way to the bathroom. Even the bathroom is so pretty. My favorite dinosaur exhibition. This reminds me of the movie The Night at the Museum or something like that. This room mimics earthquake situations. It was actually pretty scary. The Chinatown in London is the best Chinatown I've ever been to. And now next stop, Paris. And that's Spring Break Part 1. Yeah.